Alright guys, in this video I want to show you how to change uh, uh, configurations in uh, magnet field layout so that they actually carry through all of your jobs. Um, the configurations that uh, specify how your hardware is actually responding and how what the defaults are going to be for every job that you start with that configuration. So when you start magnet field layout uh, typically it asks you for connecting to an instrument over here. If you just hit connect, it'll connect and it'll inherit any of the settings that you have in here. I have a couple of settings that I can choose from, but for the sake of the exercise, I'm actually not going to connect to anything right now, just to verify and show you where you actually change, make these changes. So GT is because I'm using a Topcon uh, GT robotic uh, station, uh, but I'm not connecting to it right now. So I'm skipping this because I want to verify that my settings are correct. So in my home screen, after I uh, fire up magnet field layout, go into job, and then under job, go into configure, and then into equipment. And this is the same thing that we just saw, but here, instead of just selecting it, we can actually edit these settings. So if I go into edit, it lets me specify the name. I can change the name. I can change the type. Obviously, these are correct. It's a Topcon, it's a GT series, so that's correct also. Uh, I'm connecting to the instrument via Bluetooth, that's correct also. In my case, again, everybody case, everybody's case might be different. Uh, I'm using the search and track settings, my preference. I like to see my horizontal angle, vertical angle, horizontal distance on my instrument. I also like my lights to actually be on, so I typically do point, point guide on over here. But this is the default that uh, the instrument and the software always puts the EDM mode into. This is wrong. It's the fastest way of doing it, but it's not the right uh, method for a precise layout. So what you'll do, what I do, is I actually pick one of these two, fine or rapid. Um, uh, for the sake of survey settings, maybe I'll do fine, and for maybe stakeout, I'll do rapid. But again, it really doesn't matter. Just uh, tracking is to the nearest tenth of a foot. These are to the nearest hundredth of a foot. So I'll just save, save this um, rapid in the survey settings, the layout settings. These are my tolerances for layout. I will leave them be. Uh, and again, for layout settings, same, same dialogue appears. So I want to make sure that this says rapid also. Um, Next, next, I don't care about these settings anymore. Hit the green check. Now, don't forget to hit the green check again because now when you actually go back into connect and you hit the, uh, and you select this configuration, this configuration, when I hit connect, I don't have an instrument set up over here, so I'm not going to connect to it. But if you hit connect, it's going to send these settings to the instrument and the instrument will display the proper uh, settings for you on the instrument itself. Just for the sake of the argument, hit home, job, configure, edit, hit edit, and just check it, make sure that those things stayed there. I can see that it says rapid, so this is correct. This says rapid, this is correct again. So I know this stuck even if I close the program. So if I hit close and I uh, fire up layout, layout again, uh, it's recommending to connect to the GT, but again, if I'm not sure what I have in those settings, job, configure, equipment, edit, next, 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 and it still says rapid, and it also says rapid in the actual layout settings. So I know that these are the settings that this instrument will inherit if I was to hit the actual connect button. All of the other settings obviously live in that same screen. Um, you can preset, obviously, your uh, crews to just use one configuration, and that way, every time they start a job, no matter what job you're in, it will inherit the right settings. Uh, hopefully, this is a useful video, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them below.